Hi guys and welcome back to The Clean Cuisine. Today we have a dish that is absolutely flavorful. It's an herb roasted citrus chicken. And I have laid out pretty much everything that you're gonna need and some of the utensils that help make this a whole lot easier. None of which are necessary, but again, they'll just speed up the process for you. So what I have here is I've got four cloves of garlic that I already minced. I have the juice of one lemon and one lemon sliced. And then I have the juice of one orange and one orange sliced. Then I have over here the herbs and spices that I will be using. I've got rosemary, thyme, onion powder, paprika, red chili flake, salt, and pepper. Now, it's raining like cats and dogs outside. I was gonna go get some fresh rosemary and thyme, but for right now, guys, we're gonna use dried. If you have fresh, it'll make it all that much more flavorful. I suggest using it. If not, dried herbs work perfectly fine. So, what I'm gonna do is, in my mason jar here, I'm gonna go ahead and add the juice of that lemon and orange that I've used my handy dandy juicer for. This comes in handy. And I'm also going to add my minced garlic, which I use this with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my herbs. So I am going to add one tablespoon of dried rosemary. And I'm gonna add a half tablespoon of dried thyme. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of onion powder. And a half teaspoon of paprika. And I'm just gonna add a good pinch of red chili flake, add more or less according to your um, spice tolerance, I guess. And I'm gonna add, for my salt, I'm gonna do a half tablespoon of fairly coarse sea salt. And then fresh pepper to taste, probably about a half teaspoon. So I've got all those amazing spices and herbs in there with all my citrus. And then for my chicken over here, I went ahead and I cut up the breasts. The breasts were huge. So in order for them to cook evenly with the drumsticks, I just cut those. That's what I have the shears out for. Um, not a necessary step, but I want to make sure everything cooks evenly. So I've got a few drumsticks and I had two huge chicken breasts. So it's going to be the equivalent of anywhere from 8 to 12 pieces, depending on how big they are. Uh, roughly about 4 pounds. So to my mason jar I'm also going to add just a quarter cup of olive oil okay and we're just going to give that a really good shake meanwhile I have rinsed and patted dry my chicken you want to make sure you pat your chicken dry because you want this olive oil and all these spices and herbs to really stick to your chicken. If you left your chicken wet, if you don't know already, oil and water don't mix. So it will actually repel the, the oil and the seasonings from really adhering to the chicken. So rinse them, give them a good pat down, and then you're going to just simply pour the spice mixture over your chicken. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. Make sure you're getting it coated. And then what you can do, this is great if you have the time to do it the night before and let this marinate. You can even put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, I'm in a hurry tonight, so I'm actually not gonna be marinating it. I'm gonna be putting it right into the oven, which is fine as well, even if you could give it just like 15 minutes. But if you can do none of that, just make sure that you kind of 
Move it all around and make sure that chicken is nicely coated with that mixture. And you want to leave the skin side up so that skin can get nice and crispy in the oven while it's baking. It's going to have uh, the most beautiful color. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and place those lemon and lime circles around it. I usually will um, reserve a few just to put on when it comes out right before I go to serve it because it just makes it makes it pop, makes it look really nice and fancy. This is a great dish if you're serving company. It just looks very sophisticated, like you spent all day in the kitchen. You can see how quickly it comes together with some spices and some herbs. So I'm just going to kind of place these haphazardly around and these will kind of brown up and then also like the flavors will infuse into the chicken and you'll see it'll look really nice when it comes out. So I guess I didn't reserve any of those lemons. Let's take this one away, put that there and then I'll just save those last few for when the dish comes out of the oven. So I have my oven preheating at 400 degrees. We're going to pop it in for about an hour and I will show you just how fabulous it looks when we come out. And after about an hour in the oven, this beautiful dish is perfect and it's ready to go. I usually will uh, just take a spoon and kind of pour over some of the pan drippings over the chicken, give them one last kind of coating of that flavor and reserve these drippings, guys. I use this for everything from sauces to gravies to soups or just to flavor rice even. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you want more of these delicious, easy, healthy recipes for your family, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.